G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back to my channel. Well, the market's going down, but I ain't tripping. <laughs> so, yeah, I've seen a few things on Twitter uh, and other places and, you know, people are freaking out and, you know, they're worried that, you know, the market's going to go down even lower. And look, I actually think it could go lower. And I did mention this uh, a couple of days in one of my videos. And I'll quickly go over here. So can the market hold for uh, hold over the weekend or will we see uh, some more downside pressure? And look, that's exactly what I think is gonna happen. We are gonna see some more downside pressure. But don't freak out, just hold. That's all you gotta do. If you're in a good project, this is not the peak of this bull run. We're not even close to it, but are we due for maybe a, you know, what some people would call a severe retracement, but really in crypto, it's just a normal retracement. Yeah, it's possible, and it's a weekend. I've said it in a number of videos before. Generally, on weekends, the crypto market goes down a little bit. People cash out, take some money, and put it into other things, or have a weekend out and spend some, whatever it is they do. And I can't tell you exactly what the reasons are. I don't know, I haven't really sold any crypto in, well, ever since I started, I've, hold, I've held on to every single little bit I've got, other than, you know, traded uh, here and there. But they definitely traditionally sell off over the weekend. And it's the weekend, so that's what's happening. Uh, and we've seen this time and time again. It's not unheard of. But there are definitely weekends where it doesn't do that and it just goes up. Uh, and we've had that. And if we go over to the, the chart, this is where we're at at the moment. So as I said, there was this ascending wedge and we broke out. And all that was was a fake out. We got up there. We didn't last long. It was, it was basically a day. And then we sold back straight into it. And then we were waiting to see what would happen. And again, we've had this resistance at around that $11,800 level. And we look like we might be going to go over it again. And no, we've just sold off. Now, it's sad day here in Australia. It's uh, sort of Friday night uh, over in America. And, you know, it, it, something similar in other parts of the world. It's still possible that we see some we see some more sell off over the weekend. It wouldn't surprise me at all. And as I've said before, I am not going to be you know too concerned if we get back to around that kind of eleven thousand sort of two hundred dollar level thereabouts. And even not if we come down to the eleven thousand dollar level, or what I suspect we might do is come and bounce off this uh, yellow line here, which is ten thousand five hundred. And at the moment, it is lining up perfectly with the fifty day moving average quite possible we could do that and here's the scary part folks for those of you who haven't been in crypto for a while it is not impossible that we don't come down and maybe test the 100 maybe test this trend line or maybe even come down in here and test the 200 day moving average in all the other bull markets that crypto's had and i think we've had around about four of them now at some stage during a bull market the uh, price always comes down and bounces off the 200 day moving average. So it's quite possible. So that is Bitcoin could come down and see $8,900. Now I'm not saying that's what it's going to do. I can't tell you exactly what it's going to do. I can just tell you uh, what it's done previously. And again, I said in another video the other day as well, you know, how do you know whether it's a good time to invest? We're looking at a daily chart at the moment. Now to make it even more confusing, we could go down into hourly charts and have a look at what it's doing on the hour. And it's just all over the place. It's so hard to try and read an hourly chart. We could make it even harder again. We can get down into 15 minute charts. This doesn't tell me anything except for the market is crashing right now. It's just, it looks really, really bad right now. But this is just every 15 minutes. So it's up, down, it's up, down, and it's all around. This is the hardest way to try and look at a market and it doesn't tell you the overall trend. This just tells you a short time span. This is in 15 minute periods. The easiest way to figure out what the trend is, is you can do the daily, but even better, do the weekly. The weekly is gonna give you a good idea. And what is the trend? The trend since way back here, December 2018, is Bitcoin's been going up. Went up sold off a bit went up really went up went sideways for a bit really went up sold off a bit really went up traded sideways and we had a, again a bit of a correction you can't have all of this and not have some kind of correction that's what this was and that's what this was and then we started to move our way back up 
and then we had the pandemic. So that's what this was. And now we're simply trading back up again. Yes, again, we can't have all of this without some sort of something like this or something like this. Now these are weekly candles, remember that. So there could be a week where we basically go to the downside. So it is quite possible that we come back down here and test this or test in here. And again, we could even come down here and test 6,000. We're still in a bullish momentum. It's only until we kind of break this trend line down here. So currently we'd have to get below $5,700 to still not be in a bit of an uptrend. Don't get me wrong, I'd be as nervous as anyone if we started breaking down into here, but it's not game over. And again, if you really want to get an even better indication of where we go, zoom out again. Zooming in is generally one of the worst things you can do to understand a trend. So again, this shows it even better. Upwards, we went sideways a bit, and we're going back up again. Could this pull back a little bit to down here and we have something like this? Absolutely, wouldn't even surprise me if I saw something like this. It wouldn't surprise me if I saw something a bit more sort of like this or this, and we come down and simply tr uh, bounce off this trend line that we've had. Relax, people. If you're freaking out uh, over a little movement like this, you'll never survive in the crypto space. It is volatile, both upwards and downwards. That's the way it works. It always has, and it's going to continue that way for a while yet. Now, it's a new emerging market. Most new emerging markets are fairly volatile. They're all over the place with people trying to work out exactly what the true value is. Uh, and you know, this is my guess, not, my, not financial advice, is the true value of Bitcoin is a lot higher than what it is right now. We all could be wrong. It's completely possible. It could be, we could be wrong and it could be worth less. I just doubt it based on the history of what Bitcoin's been doing. And we're only now finally getting to some institutional adoption, not major institutional adoption, just some. And we haven't even had the true retail get into it yet. So you add all of that, the chances of this being worth less, it's fairly slim. But again, so we just go back to the daily chart. That's the one I like to use generally. Uh, once I understand the trend, and I believe I do understand the trend, as we're seeing, we're having a bit of a sell-off here. We've come out of this uh, ascending wedge that we had, and we've broken to the downside. And I always suspected we were going to break to the downside, uh, but I, you know, I wasn't completely out of the realms that we broke to the upside, and we did. But this is what we call a fake out. So it's broken out of the trend, and then it quickly recorrects itself. I am thinking again, we're probably going to come down and test this eleven thousand kind of two hundred dollar range but I wouldn't be surprised if we tested the $10,500 range. I really don't see us going much lower than that, but that's not to say it couldn't. And worst case scenario is, a, you know, if we're in a bull market, and I believe we are, we could definitely come back and test this 200 day moving average. That's what Bitcoin does uh, in bull markets when it has, has the heaviest retracements, uh, and we're not even close to that yet. So that'd be one hell of a correction. I'm more looking to, again, around about this $11,200 range, if not the $10,500 range, which lines up perfectly with the 50-day moving average. Now, also something. So if you don't know who Dave Portnoy is, he's massive on uh, YouTube and Twitter and things like that. And he had the Winklevoss twins come and see him not that long ago. We're talking within the last week. He wanted to learn about cryptocurrencies. And so anyway, he bought $200,000 worth of Bitcoin. He got, I think, $50,000 worth of Chainlink. Now, he bought Chainlink at an all-time high, and it started to retrace. Guess what he's done now? He sold everything. He's pulled out. He's, he's now completely out of crypto. And what he said on his little podcast was he can just put his money in stocks, and they just continually go up all the time. They don't have retracement days, is what he said. But that is a complete and utter lie. The entire market crashed back in March. It's just since March, they haven't had any retracements or no major ones. I get that, but that's the stock standard market and that's what the market is being done with all this fake money being put in, all the modern mon monetary policy. But they have not had the gains that we've had. So this is what I put to Dave Portnoy. Dave Portnoy, and this is his uh, Twitter follower, so at uh, Stool Presidente, sells his crypto because of a pullback retracement. 
Not everyone can handle what it takes to be ahead of the trend or be able to see where the future of finance is going. You will unfortunately buy back in at a later, uh, more expensive date. So he invested, I think, 250000 and he sold at a loss uh, all of his cryptos for a loss 25000 So he got $225,000 back. He just didn't understand the market, didn't do enough research, and believes he's going to be better off in the traditional financial market, not knowing that the traditional finance uh, market is being propped up by you know a stimulus that is going to stop at some stage so unless he knows how to time the market perfectly and he can ride it to the top and sell it all and then put his money into i don't know whatever else he thinks is good you know he's probably missed out on a great opportunity but you know time will tell uh he's a pretty smart man uh it's not that he you know Losing $25,000 is not a lot for him. I'm pretty sure his net worth is in the millions, so he doesn't have too much to worry about, but it just goes to show he wasn't ready for cryptocurrencies and he doesn't understand uh, how it works. Hence why he was telling the, asking the Winklevoss twins to come over and try to explain it to him. And when they left, he still didn't understand it. So, you know, what can you do? You can't help people that can't understand. But lastly, I want to go over here. So this is the market. So again, we were up around that $280 billion mark. Uh, sorry, $380 billion mark. We we're getting close to the $390 billion. There's obviously been a heavy retracement. And a lot of this uh, is, again, the weekend, but it's also people panicking. People are FOMO'd in, and now they're FOMOing out. They're freaking out. And they're like, oh my God, hence why Bitcoin pumped up. We had that bit of a sell-off, traded sideways, and now we are seeing some heavy retracement. So... I can't do much for people who simply don't understand the markets. But my personal advice is if you are in the crypto uh, market right now, you're early. Relax. Don't worry. Yes, you might buy in at the all-time kind of high right now because a lot of things are at all-time highs. Well, no, that's not true. Not at the older projects, but the newer ones anyway. They are at all-time highs, so there's going to be a retracement. But if you're in a good project, just wait a couple of months it's most likely not financial advice just my personal opinion going to be a lot higher than what it currently is right now but anyway what can you do if you don't understand you don't understand you need to get out there and uh, and educate yourself and i've been educating myself for a few years now so i am more than confident and comfortable with my position uh and i'm not selling anything like i said i've never really sold any crypto full stop uh i've either just traded it to something else or, or held it. That's all I've done. I've never actually physically cashed out any cryptocurrency in three years. Now, don't get me wrong, from 2017 all the way to 2019, all I did was <laughs> lose money. Again, I've said this before, late 2017, I got in around sort of September, turned a couple of hundred dollars into a couple of thousand dollars, and then I watched that couple of thousand dollars literally turn into only a couple of hundred dollars. I was, you know, I basically lost 80% of everything that I invested. That was hard. That was real hard. I won't say it wasn't because it was tough. We'll go back here uh, and we'll have a look. So I went, hopefully this will load sooner rather than later. I'll get in back here around the sort of $8,000 level, $7,000 level. And again, I put a couple of hundred dollars in. And in a very short amount of time, I watched that couple of hundred, I think it got up to around about 4000 nearly $5,000. I thought, this is the most amazing thing ever. And then I went through all of this, and it hurt. And it's around about kind of somewhere around about here, possibly even over here, I lost faith in crypto for a little while. I did. I didn't completely stop you know, paying attention to it, but I obviously wasn't putting any more money in and didn't pay too much attention to the markets. I remember did hear uh, hearing that it got down to three, four thousand, three thousand dollar level, and admittedly I thought, oh, it's dead. I hadn't done enough research back then, but then I did watch it start to come up, and so I wasn't sure. I was like, oh, geez, we'll have to wait and see, and it slowly pumped up. But again, I was still in the minus all the way back up to here. I'd bought way back up, sort of around here, about the eight thousand dollar level, but once it hit the eight thousand dollar level. I started to do further research and I really went back and again, I saw that these patterns had repeated themselves previously. Here, pumped right up, sold off, took a while to finally get back up to where it was, pumped up, had a really big long bear market and sold off and it took years to get back to its all-time high. 
This is what it does, folks. This is crypto. If you don't understand that, you're going to get wrecked. You need to be in it for the long term. Can you chuck a couple of dollars in and strike it lucky and make thousands and thousands or millions, depending on how much you put in? Absolutely you can. But that's based on luck. It's not based on any knowledge. It's not based on you know understanding the fundamentals, understanding uh, the mindset of financial uh, gains and wealth and how they do it. The people who've made millions have invested for the long haul. Very few people have thrown a couple of dollars and got lucky and made millions. It's not to say that no one's done it. There is plenty of people on a worldwide you know, sort of basis that have done it, but it's a very small percentage in the total. So I don't recommend doing that. I recommend doing some research. And as I said the other day, you need to understand charts, read, how, understand how to read charts, learn charts, and go back over previous you know, years, even decades sometimes, to understand how they work. And that was how I did it. And that's why when I saw uh, Bitcoin was now just kind of ranging it all, it was all regularly sitting around that kind of $6,000 to $8,000 level. And I think it was around about here. No, no, actually it was a little bit. Where are we? November 19th. Yep, around about back here. This is where I started to get back in again. I was like, right here, this has been doing it for a while. Yes, it's coming down a little bit, but it had pumped up so much. So I knew a retracement was going to come, but I didn't believe it was going to go that low. So it was around about kind of November, December-ish last year that I started to get back in. Started to put some money in, and yes, I started to see a loss again. But I was confident we weren't going to go above this six thousand dollar, go below this six thousand dollar level. And guess what? We didn't. We got down to here, which got down to around the six five level, and it started to go back up. And I honestly thought at this stage it was going to continue to go back up. And I hadn't invested heavily. I just put some more money into it. It went down again. I was still confident. Then obviously the pandemic hit. That really, really hurt. But once I saw a bottoming and almost perfectly in line with this trend line here and I started to see it move back up and fairly quickly, I got some cash together and I was back in. Now I got in, I think 5,400 was the cheapest I bought Bitcoin and I basically made my position all the way up to around about sort of $8,000. Now I'm still investing in Bitcoin every fortnight. Uh, and other cryptocurrencies depending on sort of what's happening but this is really where I built my position between that six thousand and eight thousand dollar level I was in I knew what was going to happen based on everything that had happened before now I have watched it go up substantially but I've watched it trade sideways for a while I have seen it dump somewhat heavily at times it is going to continue to do this this is why I'm not freaking out about this. And I won't be freaking out if we get down to 11,000. I won't be freaking out if we get down to 10,500. I will, you know, I'm only human. I will freak out a little bit if we get down to that $9,800 level. But really, I wouldn't be too worried unless we broke below 8,900 at the moment. So under the $9,000 level. We break that 200 day moving average, I would be concerned, but I still wouldn't be bearish that it's all over and done with until we break this line. This is the trend line. So currently, based on today, we would have to go below 5,700. If we went below 5,700, yes, I would be concerned, absolutely. And I probably would have scaled out a fair bit before we got there. Not completely, but I would start to take some profits. If we start to break back within this trend line, I'm definitely gonna take some profits because I'll be waiting for a lower time to get in. But look, I could be wrong. Knowing my luck, <laughs> I'd probably sell here and that's where it would bounce off. But that's life. If I did see it bounce off, I'd just have to get back in and obviously you know, take a bit of a loss. But I would still be in profit in total because I got in way back over here. Anyway, I've been going on for a little while. I don't want to take up too much of your time. It's Saturday here. Uh, I want you to enjoy your weekend. But for those who are new and are freaking out and don't understand, don't trip. Relax, chill. If you've put your money into good projects, and I can tell you what I think is good projects, just chill, relax. This is just the early beginnings. You are going to see some crazy stuff, my personal opinion, not financial advice, like this. Here's a perfect example. 
There's a number of perfect examples. Imagine getting in here and watching this drop. You're freaking out. Oh my God. It's taken a couple of months. Then you've got a little bit more and you're like, this is going. And then it drops again. You're freaking out even more. You're like, oh my God, this is just going to keep falling. But then you get to here and it just keeps going. Drops back a little bit. You freak out a tiny bit and then it just keeps going. Then we have a heavy correction and you're freaking out, but you're still well up from when you got in over here to here and it just keeps going. This is what it does. And this is most likely, and what I believe, is going to happen all over again. And this is gonna be a little blip, like this stuff back here, once upon a time. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe, be kind to one another. I don't know if you're on that gain train today. A few people might be lucky. Most of us are probably bleeding a little bit, but relax, chill, don't trip. I'll see you next time.